Um, hey, y'alls. Happy Wednesday. Hi, John. Hey, doggy. How you doing, brother? I'm good. Um, <laughs> I'm, uh, I, I meant to, to tell you this during our debriefing, but, um, our debriefing, or is that me briefing you? I forget. Uh, <laughs> You do things and then you fail me on what's so, going on. So this is a good me. this is a good segue because um, I uh, am, am broadcasting live, as you can see, from Scarlita Camchita, my daughter Scarlett's bedroom here. This is Arnie, uh, and above me is a bunch of stuffed animals and some cute, cuddly puppies and stuff. Anyways, uh, I'm quick briefing on me. Happy birthday, Tana! Happy birthday, Tana! Um, I uh, I wanted to come. I I was like, Scarlett, can I broadcast from your room? She's like, Yeah, Dad, that's cool. She was in there making dinner. She made us sesame noodle, sesame noodles with uh, like a Thai sauce and like carrots. Man, it was freaking good. I only ate like a couple bites. But did uh, she actually prep the meal? Did it wasn't? Oh yeah, she, no, it was, no, she totally like rocked it, man. She nailed it. Uh, b food just makes me sick. So that's why you drink and drink only, whether it's beer or is that looked like a yerba mate, dude? It didn't even look like a. Oh, okay. So it's an IPA. Attaboy. <sighs> um. So Tana gives us a. The funny thing so is, much, is that it, it's it's such a it's such a bummer in the. Uh, it's such a bummer when we tell her happy birthday, Tana, and she just gives us a woo because you don't really get the gist of that woo, the power behind the woo. You have to understand, though, dog, that uh, when you say happy birthday, Tana, three times in a song, four songs in a row. <laughs> that's a good point. That's I a good point. I always tell you, dude, twice a night, that's all you get. Tana Nico Norton. Two bombers. Nico Norton. Hey, old clone. Hey, old. Mr. Clone. Dude, we're. Yeah. It's like three weeks in a row. Got something to buy a seller trade. He's riding his driving his big rig again. That's why he stopped by early. He came in here early, tuned in early this time because he knew we we should give him a shout out early last time. And I got my I got my truck and my truck and mic on again. No, I said so damn funny. Trucking, not dog. It'd be funny if all we did is just talk crap about clone. Just talk garbage. So our old buddy Chris Clone, what a piece of crap, man. What a garbage. Oh hey, clone, good to see you. Hey, I was going to ask you about that. So not not about talking shit about clone, but um, did. Hey, Juddy, buddy. Judd Wagner. God bless your beautiful soul. And we love you, clone, so much. Uh, hey, did Pat, we do, hey, we Jen. did, we did Let's Ride last time that you wrote with clone, right? But we didn't do, we, sh you, we should, uh, maybe we should just, oh, yeah. I, I got an idea. Since clone's here, why don't you, uh, he can't sing with, no, don't do that one. Let's do, uh, let's cover, why don't you cover one of his old songs that, that they had? I really I don't remember how how the damn thing starts though. Did don't you just? I think what do you? <laughs> it's been a while since we covered remember? it, dog, and I can't. Clones here, and now I'm Mr. Mr. Nurse. Well, in all honesty, we probably shouldn't because he kind of needs to sing on that and has a, it needs to be a co a co singing thing. I was going to what you talk. I was talking about Princess of Doom. Yes, but I can't think of the first yeah. words. Evening got confused and right around a quarter to two is the second verse, dog. What's the first word? Okay, well, clone, that was the first words. Clone, give us, clone, give us clone, a cue. You wrote the song. Can you remember the first words to your own song? Princess we'll we'll wait till we hear from him. We'll, we'll move on. So, I'll tell um, you the second I see it, dude. Hey, fellas, or er, fellas, John, that's just you. Um, I'm a, I'm a train wreck, clone. Guys, yes, they all know, and so do we. This is part of the thing. If you, if you actually came on here with some sanity, everybody would just tune out. Um, so how is everybody first of all let me let me just check in is everybody good how are you guys i'm standing uh, in the corner Looking is everybody the oh are you ready to sing it now okay i'm sorry, just yep. going to assume that everybody's Anyways, good talk. how are people doing sorry i got it this is hey right. amy oh. from amy from illinois say hi to uh the red boy for us absolutely awesome hello, you guys doing hello, matt you guys are awesome for, for yeah uh yeah. all right so um I think we mentioned this last time. There was a some very, very good friends of ours, our brothers, um, who are no longer together. Actually, I don't know if they ever dissolved. They just kind of stopped playing. They're taking um, a break. Like, it's, a, it's, actually, it's actually a very familiar um, sort of circumstance. Um, Ten foot tall and 80 proof. And our buddy Chris, who, if you ever saw them live, played the stand-up bass. 
and was a sexy mother. <laughs> uh, he moved back home to the UP. He's a Uper. Yeah. Um, we miss well, not home. quite. I think he's south of there now, but doesn't even. Great story, dog. Continue. Anyways, <laughs> uh, we're gonna we're gonna do a song. Well, John's gonna do a song that that uh, is off of their record and uh, one of their first records. It's a staple around these parts. So take it, Johnny. Last standing in the corner, looking around the room. I went out from the dark, came this princess doom. Well, she looked at me and smiled. My heart's keep beating. I said, hey, there, little lady, would you like to dance with me? Smiled and nodded with a bashful look in her eyes. Then I took her by the hand. I said, girl, you made my night. I said, I don't even know your name. And I've never seen you around. I said, Johnny Max, what they call me, mama. And I've just formed up in town. Well, I said, hey, little lady, won't you boogie woogie with you round the room? With beautiful eyes and sweet perfume, just might lead me to my doom. Said I ain't no little lady, but I boogie woogie with you round the room. Fell up first, walked up, I'm free to press the doom. Clone, been a while, buddy. I bet your dog and I covered this song every gig for about three years, and then it just get you out. Know, songs come and go. It's good to dust this one up, doggy. Well, the evening got confusing, right about a quarter to two. Well, let's call Benny around, and now I don't know what to do. I do I ask for your number? I do I just walk out of the door? I do I skip all that and just one last dance and ask him back to the floor? Yeah. I said, hey, there, little lady, won't you build your hoobie with the round the room? Where the beautiful lies in the sweet perfume just might lead me to my doom. Said I ain't no little lady, but I boogie you woogie with you round the room. Well, I fell in love when you first walked up. I'm free to press the doom. Jared Ridgeway. Hey, Ashton. Mr. Clone, we honor you. Try again, Clone, like you honor us, sucker. Well, I said, hey, Said I ain't no little lady, but I boogie woogie with you round the room. Well, I fell in love when she first walked up. I'm afraid she's pretty dumb. Well, she fell in love when I first walked up. I'm afraid she's pretty dumb. Yeah. Princess of Duke. Atta boy. John, it, it, Johnny Denny, I, uh, I wish that I could uh, do that. However, there is a major delay action. Uh, if I try to clap, I think I did some snaps or some claps along last week, and it was like a second delayed, which is really no different than playing live, but or what it comes through anyways, because I'm not shitty. However, um, you're just going to have to hold off, boss. I did say, I did do a teaser, um, and I'm actually about 79% serious about this, uh, about the dog, which is me, um, maybe doing a little 20-minute uh, guitar singing set by myself so John could go in the chat room and heckle me like I did to him on uh, Saturday. So we'll have to see. It's just going to be, it's going to be random. It's only going to be for the fans that listen and watch our page 24 seven. Like, you know, like the radio stations, you have to listen to see it. Uh, <laughs> you just log on at 5 5 AM and the phone happens to be trucking through. Oh so my God. God. It's dog. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I'm serious about that. That might happen. So stay tuned. Um, I did get some, um, we, I, we, we've been getting a lot of messages in the last, well week but especially the last six to eight hours um obviously there was a big announcement up in helena um not really doesn't really affect us at all uh, you guys all know that we're going to be the last ones to get back to work um 
we have this profession that kind of plan, kind of need folks around. Um, otherwise, this is what happens. Um, when I have more information, you'll have more information, and so will John. Um, we're we're rearranging a, a few things. We're going to see. Um, there's still some private parties that might happen. So if you're involved in one of those, um, that's still a possibility. Um, Chico. Uh, which is coming up next weekend is not going to happen. Uh, I really don't think that's a possibility because I don't think they can open until fourth at the earliest anyways. Um, but there are some options coming in May and in June for some things that we had planned. Um, along those lines, I, this didn't get announced, um, but mm, April 24th, which is Friday, we were actually supposed to be down at Craft Local um, in Billings with a band called Hubba Hubba. If you guys have ever heard of them, they're uh, quite on the up and up down in Billings and the surrounding area. Um, I didn't announce it because it was going to be a regular ticketed show. And I usually, we usually don't announce those until, you know, two, three weeks before the show. So not a lot of folks knew about that. Um, so what we're going to do is probably on Sunday, um, the way John's and I schedule is kind of working and the way this band is working out. I think we're going to try to get together on Sunday and do a full setup, uh, probably still um, shoot from his garage um, or maybe even outside if there's no wind. But we're going to do something for Craft Local to kind of help out like we've been helping out with uh, or for you guys to help out with them. Because obviously that's a, a steady haunt for us when we're down there and we love what they do not only supporting us, but also like all the artists in there and the sculptors and um, Dwayne and Terry and Kyle and everybody, they're amazing people. So um, stay tuned for that. That'll probably happen Sunday, like I said, and then we'll kind of see what happens uh, in the next, you know, week to two, three weeks. So enough about that. Uh, John, <laughs> I want you to play Stoned Outside of Reno. And I would love to play it for you. Yeah. No, we we got one uh, right at the end for that last week, and that one was actually on our first record, working on okay, that we put out as a duo. Um, anything about? Well, obviously, there's a story to that, but go ahead and launch into that, will you? Um, yeah. So, Stoned Outside Arena was a co-write with the ever infamous, ever elusive Mr. Dan Hunthausen, wherever you are in the universe, Dan Hunthausen. John and Josh love the shit out of you. Um, but yeah, Dan came over one morning, we were drinking coffee and I told him, I've got this idea for a first line for a song. I'm out of bullets and I'm low on gas. <laughs> and so that's what began the song stoned outside of Reno. Um, ain't no good to say a prayer when you're ripped out of your mind. Um, when, when Hunthausen covers this, he, he has some alternate lyrics and he, I wanted the story to be a guy that's literally just speeding out of Reno and he got caught in a card game that went wrong. Um, and I think like, I wanted it to be more of a, a really, this guy is, he is out of his mind. He's stoned out of his mind outside of Reno. And I think that Hunt House and the way he sings it is much more of like a really nice two-step sort of Americana feel. So I, I wanted more, um, what do you call it? Like out of controlness, even though this is a real sort of mid-tempo song, if that makes sense, though. So, uh, indeed, indeed it does. Yeah, with that, I give y'all stoned outside of Reno. And I'm going to throw up lyrics because you know how this goes. Like, you can put me in front of an Irish pub. I would never forget the lyrics, dog. And as soon as you get me in front of a computer, you know, Princess of Doom. Danny had house. up to me, make me pay for the things I've done. Dashboard Jesus in the midday sun, melting right before my eyes. Ain't no good to say a prayer when you're ripped out of your mind. Cause I'm stoned inside a Reno in a stolen car. Gotta get somewhere I can lay low. Side. Got my eye on the rear view, looking for trouble, trying to keep it on the road. I got the pedal to the metal, high as a kite, and I'm stoned outside. 
outside of Reno. Drug dealing low life at a poker game. Pulled the Smith and Wesson on me. Said I know you been cheating. You ain't fooling anyone. But I was quicker on the draw and two slugs later grabbed a double full of cash. The keys do his beamer. Walked into town, now I'm leaving on the run. Cause I'm stoned inside of Reno in a stolen car. Gotta get somewhere I can lay low. 120 mile now, we're in 110 outside. I got my eye on the rear view, looking for trouble, trying to keep it on the road. I got the pedal. Well, I should have gone to Vegas where the tourists go. It's a safe little town, catch a topless show. Instead, I'm on the run, no bullets in my gun. Running from the things I've done. Cause I'm stoned inside a Reno in a stolen car. Gotta get somewhere I can lay low. 120 miles an hour and 110 outside. I got my eye on the rear view, looking for trouble, trying to keep it on the road. I got the pedal to the metal, high as a kite, Lord, I'm stoned outside of Reno. I'm high as a kite and I'm stoned outside of Reno. Hey, John. Thank you, Doggy. Great job. Thank you, Doggy. Now we yes. open the chat room up and we see. Win twins, Sherry. Win twins. Hi, Sherry. Good to see you, honey. Um, yeah, there's a party that's going to probably happen um, in Huntley. Um, if you can find it, you're invited. <laughs> um I'm sure that we'll be figuring that out as soon as we hang up here with Nico. But um, Chavis Norton uh, is a senior at Huntley Project, and that one's been on our calendar to play his graduation party for over a year. Uh, and obviously, the timing is impeccable. So um, we're going to do our best to see what we, what we can do there. But that is, uh, if anybody, uh, yeah. Maybe that was, a, I don't think it was a surprise. It's not anymore. <laughs> uh, so we'll see what we can make happen on that. But um, that one actually uh, might be a live stream. We might set up a camera and do a little live stream action for that. Um, if there's some family members that can't be there or something like that, we'll see how that works. But um, And that's also an option that we have for some other things down the road in may if we can't get in there right away um i'll let you guys know like i said we'll figure it out as soon as we can uh there was a question that got sent in from um through the messenger doesn't matter where it's from this is me thinking as i'm looking for it oh john question for you yeah brother um hold on wait for it Do you have a song? I think we both know the answer to this, but I, I don't actually. Um, do you have a song that, do we each have a song that is our favorite to play that even if it's not my favorite song, but it's your favorite and I watch you play it and you really get into it, does it make me happy to play it? That was the question, more or less. Yes is the answer to that. Um, there are several. I can't even really tell you. I know for sure the one that 
for for the two of us that we love to play live is out of her mind just because of the groove. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the times, depending on where it is in the night, we'll kick into the Doobie Brothers because it's a very similar melody and uh, kind of chord progression. Um, I know that there's some slow songs that we love playing. So I think it kind of depends on on the night and kind of the vibe, but there's always staples in every every show to answer your question. So there's a reason why we always play, you know, White House Road, and there's a reason why we always do Reckless and always do Ragweed. And then for our songs, we always play Out of Her Mind, and we always do, um, you know, uh, Come With Me and, um, you know, some other stuff. Played- we played one gig in, a, in like five years where we forgot to do sugar beats and boy, did we hear about it? Well, and the, and, and beats obviously, Oh, it's my favorite. I love playing that. Um, <laughs> that, that one, honestly, that one is the one where both of us could be like, eh. um, but we know that we're not going to get out of there unless we play it. So, Oh God, every uh, <laughs> which is funny because that part, that song, I think we've touched on this before. That song has been part of like, the repertoire for over over 10 years i mean we wrote that in weibo and what on the fly and what what year was that oh nine were, were we dads at that point i don't remember i mean it, it, probably, it, took, a, it took a couple of years we were, no we weren't dads yet so it, that was at least that was like the the end of the aughts is when that happened because the gem theater wasn't there yet. So Russ Stennett, he's watching. He might actually know when did they build the gem? Because that would the gem wasn't even there or wasn't refurbished, I should say. Um, and so like we never even we played that for years, but it was never like what it is now. And now all of a sudden, you know, we play it all the time. But um, I'm really talking a lot. Johnny, um, do you have a do you have anything? It was 08. Okay, thanks, Russ. Do you have anything to add to that? Like as far as like a certain song or like the vibe? No, man. Um, one of the most challenging songs that you and I play together is that Jason Isbell song that we played. For yeah. The, crew the waltzy. Yeah. Shower. Yeah. yeah. It's a six, eight um, time signature, but the it, it's just got this weird sort of push pull to it. And it, it's a beautiful, it's, it's a, the song has a pulse to it. And it, when we do it right and we're in the groove, it's unbelievable. The emotional, like, dude, it's such a cool song. Music has such a power to, punchy in the teeth and when when we when we hit that pocket and there are some nights where it takes us a few you know like it takes us like 15 seconds to find that pocket you know like but once we find it yeah so i would say uh yeah oh she sang in the shower by uh jason isbell from yeah me. that's a that's a good one too just because it's such an odd it's not actually an odd time signature or anything like that it's just odd for us to play something like that you know that waltzy kind of six four or whatever it is um but yeah it's it, once we kind of lock into that it's fun and uh such a beautiful song anyways um hey that's a great request ridgeway and uh, time of day john that one's from way back yeah, but, and i would actually have to go back and rehearse that because that was such a complicated <laughs> jazz <laughs> it sounds super simple but like this you know. that's it i can't remember the next chord I yeah, think that that's it chord. that's it there you go you know uh I'd have to I'd have to look it up, dude. I'd have to Google the lyrics, but to heck with it. Ridgeway's here. Uh, oh, how about dang. do it? Do another one for him. They re- he requested one last week. Do happy. Oh, dude. Uh, so time of day so old that I still have it on Microsoft Word on my Apple computer. <laughs> wow, you just pulled it up. Then do I, it. Uh, yeah, this is the last time I opened this file up. Let's see. Oh, it's uh, taking its sweet time, dog. Brah. Hey, Rachel. Uh, yeah. No, we have not written anything about Corona. Um, we've seen a couple of them come across the wire that people have already written. And I, f- I feel like if if John or Jim or me or whoever was to write or we were to collaborate with somebody to write one of those, it's probably not going to come out for like a year and a half or two years. And it'll probably be on the fly. Um, so oh, no. Yeah. But our favorite newly learned cover song, um, boy, new. <laughs> What's the newest cover song that we've done? Jeez. I don't even remember what the newest one is. We so like that that Jason Isbell song is a perfect example. Like I, uh, you and I like you'll text me like so the next cover that we're learning is Diamonds and Gasoline by Turnpike Troubadour, but we just dude I like this song let's do it sounds good like that Jason Isbell song. Jason Isbell is such a good songwriter, but that one song for whatever reason punches us both and so we're like dude let's do it. So 
it's not like there's so many more songs by that guy that would be better rockers or better slow songs. But so we don't have any kind of strategy when it comes to, hey, we should do these kinds of cover songs. But no, it's just I like that song. It makes me high. Let's get our friends high. Oh, I, so, yeah. I miss I miss yeah. I mistake and or misspoke. Uh, it's not necessarily a song about Corona. Have we written anything in the in the lockdown? Oh. Um, mm -hmm. No, because. Uh, there was there was a ton of writing for this the new project that was initially supposed to come out this next weekend um and then we pushed it back to you know early fall and now it might not be till the holidays but the good news is is that we've got a bunch of demos in the can i mean the the album is written um it's going to be vinyl we're not going to have any more discs so it's going to be digital or vinyl and then depending on how the sales go on that um, our plan is to reissue Tornado Alley and work it on OK on vinyl as well. Um, so to answer your question, yes, uh, there's a ton of new music. Just it hasn't been released yet. Just not in this lockdown. John's been doing a lot of uh, stuff at his house, planning shelter belts and God knows what. Um, <laughs> uh, and and honestly. There was, am I, if I'm talking out of turn here, John, forgive me. Um, no. Him and Jim really hit a good stride. Uh, it started about a year ago, last February. So February of 19. Um, those guys honestly wrote like 18 songs in about two and a half months. It was ridiculous. It was legit. It was like one of those grooves they got in. And um, some of them we played live and tried out. Some of them we haven't. Um, and so. It, and John, you can answer you can yeah. answer to this, but I there it just comes in spurts, and I there not that there isn't more in the tank, but there's other yeah. It, you would think that with the slowdown and the lockdown, we'd have all this extra time on our hands that we you know what I mean. But it's actually completely opposite of that, where it's almost yeah. like it's almost like the songwriting process, and I think Jim would agree with this. The the ideas almost come to you because you want to release from your chaotic life. And then when you have downtime, you know, like yeah, you know. We, we've always talked about going to like uh, a cabin in the woods and like the two of us or, you know, whatever, have three or four guys and and collaborating and writing songs and trying to come out of there with a record. I guarantee you we'd come out with like half a song. <laughs> but if you take like if you take the same three or four or five guys or two guys or whatever and you don't do that and set a time set time aside for it you're going to write stuff it's like renting out the studio for a month to go in and write because you're setting the time aside to write that might work for a lot of folks but i can guarantee you that it would just be like us pissing away money it's like what's the point let's just wait until they're you know what i mean do you agree with that well, john yeah but it, it, it's also uh everything everything that you do things when it seems like a good idea at the time. So for instance, right now, um, I listen to a lot of podcasts while I've been working outside and Joe Rogan is one of my favorite stand-up comedians. And Joe says, I've been writing. Bill Burr says, I haven't been writing. I'm just hanging out with my wife and kids. Actually, Bill said he's been working on a script, but you know, like dog and I aren't movie writers. We just want to write, you know, contemporary Americana songs and, and entertain people. So, um, knowing that that's the goal, well, uh, when we're all going through some sort of form of trauma for lack of a better word, yeah, like this, this, that's this a traumatic good situation. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, you, you can't really take like creating takes excess energy. And right now we're all just using our, what, what limited energy and monetary resources we have to stay afloat. So, um, yeah, it's weird. Cause like, there's just not a, any, there, right. Yeah. All my writer friends are like, I haven't written crap. There, there's just not like a method to the madness though. You know, I guess that's my point is like where it yeah. it's it's an art form. So there, there's plenty of folks that we, you know, like so BJ from American Aquarium, BJ Barham, he's got a he's got a rhythm. He's got a method to get into a rhythm. You know, and there's guys that can wake up every morning and do two hours of songwriting and whether or not it becomes a song, that's how they spill their craft. That's how I mean, it's like an author writing. But then there's also guys like Jim and John where they can write five songs in a day because they just, for some reason, there's just stuff pouring out of them. And so it's, it's, it's kind of hard, at least in our experience, right, Johnny? I mean, in, in everything. Yeah, in everything every yeah everything's phases. It's bizarre too. Um, it's ironic that um, Jim and I seem to create the most from like about November to March when the world is quiet, you know, like, de like Christmas time, 
is always chaos. But winter, when everything's quiet, the creativity pours out of us. And then, but then again, you know this dog, we are so busy in summertime playing shows and weddings and doing our own family events and going to soccer games and this and that, that, uh, you know, like there's just no creativity for six months out of the year during summertime, like not on any large scale, you know, like album writing, you might write a song here or there, but, um, yeah. But then again, dog, you and I are from the old school. Like we like records. We like it when a band puts out a full record as a piece of work and that's right. still where our head is. Yeah. And granted with the, with the music industry has changed so long ago, like the CDs and records that was so long ago, like, the only reason to make records is your fans as opposed to just try and generate new fans out in the ether. Um, I say that only in as much as dog and I have still, we just want to make records as opposed to just, all right, we will put out a single now and come back in four months and do another single, which is totally fine. That's totally fine that other artists do that with their career. But as it's funny now, that you, it's funny that you say that because that's pretty much what we're, what we're going to do. It's what we're uh, gonna do. because, so well, like and it's learning we, new tricks. Yeah. yeah, we all know that this is a different, regardless of of the the Corona teen that we're all in. Um, just the the state of you know even the past five six years where everything's gone digital, and and vinyls coming back and stuff. But now, I mean, it's true. Like we can put out, we kind of did it with summer songs. We can we can do a single once every six eight weeks, and we can still yeah. do a, a full record, but we don't have to release the full record. So it's actually more efficient not only monetarily but even just vibe wise and as far as like traction to release a single and let, i mean and that's what when, when when we were all growing up that's what happened you know you you'd hear a single on mtv or or wherever yes kids mtv had videos one time uh but you'd go see that and then you you either buy the record because you heard the single and then you never heard like six tracks or eight tracks off of it or whatever so that's probably the most i mean that's what we're planning on doing um and so uh, live by the gun is going to be the first single i'll just tell you that right now if we haven't already um and we already have the demo done um it's going to go pretty fast as far as recording it so depending on when we can actually get in the studio as far as you know everything getting shelter in place being lifted and all that stuff and we can kind of get in the record we could have a single ready to go by you know june 1st so it's it's that'll be the first one i would assume conservatively speaking that by the fourth of july you're gonna have a that'll be a single so um do you have time a day up or not can you do it sure sure do it we'll slack we'll hack hack through it dog it's been a long time honest to goodness i think five years sure. maybe more. The, that's right the disclaimer's out there they know if it sucks it's on you <laughs> Feel the breeze coming through. The only thing on my mind right now is you. She moves across the room and flop down next to me. And lazily, you say you don't feel like doing anything. But as your hair falls on my shoulder, your dimples give you away. But it's that time of day. But no one feels like moving, but I'm so in the mood. Come what may, the moment's far from over, but we can get lost in each other. Baby, there's nothing better than that summer day with you. Love, just take it easy with you, baby, cause you always look so fine. We could roll around together while the world spins around outside. And I know, baby, I got you. And the way you're sitting grinning, there's so much more to do, but it's that time of day. When no one feels like moving, but I'm so in the mood. Come with me, a moment's far from over, we can get lost in each other. Baby, there's nothing better than that summer day with you, and that summer day with you, yeah.
But it's that time of day When no one feels like moving But I'm so in the mood Come with me No one's far from no one We can get lost in each other Baby, there's nothing better than that time of day With you In that time of day That summer day with you. That summer day with you. Yeah. Hang on. Yeah. It's been a while. Lordy. Well, you probably you probably can't do uh, happy then for Ridgeway, can you? Oh, no problem. That one's easy. <laughs> oh, that's easy. That yeah, no problem. Bethany Cordell, hello friend. Hi, How Beth. I did see her check in there. Hi, Bethany. Wow. Bethany, your uh, your video with with Coach was hilarious, by the way. Nice work. Oh, I missed it. Um, Trying to carry over Australia. Hey, Monty, thanks for the heads up. I didn't bring my bear spray, but appreciate that. Danny Barnett, my friend, if you're still uh, on, yes, 100%. We will grab that beer. It will be the most glorious beer that we've had together in much, much, uh, much amount of time. Sound like Stetson. Um, Oh, by the way, I just, John, you, you never get on uh, social media, but I just posted this picture that I found. Uh, my mom dropped it off or something. It fell out of something. It's a picture of me in like 1981. Uh, I guess it was in the Amana colonies, which if any of you Midwesterners have been to the Amana colonies, it's pretty righteous when you're a kid. Anyway, and I always, this is true. Like I've always said, I, I can't see myself and my kids. Like I can tell that like Garrett, John's son looks just like him, you know, and like I see everybody else. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I just don't see it. And I looked at this picture and I'm like, good God. <laughs> it was like, that could have been, I mean, I was like, that's Stetson. Anyways, great story. Again, I'm on a roll tonight. Uh, play happy. Jared and Sean Ridgeway, this is for you. Ah. You're fired. Just across the alley from me And I know that might sound dirty But it's not You see what I'm trying to say Is I believe fate's got a way Of bringing people together Ready or not Cause it love At first sight Really does exist but Baby this is it like harmony, I fit together so easily. It's about time, love. About time something went right. Is in a big up world that's falling apart. Everybody's got a broken heart. What we got works naturally. Maybe happy is the way we're supposed to be. long way no i don't want to drive if we walk we take all night it gives more time together let me get to know you a little bit better what do you mean you don't drink coffee i'll change that if it kills me dancing slow in the kitchen do a love song if honesty exists then baby this is it like harmony with it together so easily it's about time love about time so they were right is in a mixed up world it's falling apart everybody's got a broken heart what we got works naturally maybe happy is the way we're supposed to be yeah
together so easily. It's about time, love. About time to leave me right. See the big stuff around that's falling apart. Everybody's got a broken heart. What we got works naturally. Maybe happy is the way we're supposed to be. That's Boy. for the Ridgeways. Love you, Ridgeways, very, very much. Good job, buddy. And everybody uh, hanging out with us, thank you, guys. Everybody commenting. Uh, I've, I've said hello to about one out of ten people in the chat room. Thanks for being our our friends. <laughs> we love the hell out of you guys. Yeah, we're gonna try to get out there as soon as we can, you guys. I know you know that. Um, it's amazing how many. Um, and this is no. I'm I'm not pissing and moaning here. It's I'm just it's just making an observation. It's amazing how many people. Um, I don't know about you, John, but have, well, reached out to us via email and um, Facebook messaging and stuff and, and just wanting to know what is, uh, you know, how we're doing and, and morale and just seeing what, um, what are you doing there, buddy? John, can you hear me? Apparently we lost John. Um uh, dog, I lost all audio on my end. You did? You can hear me. I can hear you. Jeez. You want me to meet you? I'll meet you. <laughs> He'll be right back. I don't know Hold if you on. can hear me, dog. I, I can't hear you. I lost all audio. Um, anyways, if you guys can still hear me. Uh, we had a bunch of people um, kind of reach out to us about, you know, what we've been doing. And, and um, yeah, I hear you, John. Um, what kind of how we've been doing and what we can do to kind of what, what they can do to help like kind of prop us up, I guess. Um, just you guys need to know that we are doing fine uh, as well as anybody else, I guess, you know, I mean, I know that it's, I know that it's hard um, for all of us, but, and I'm sorry that I can't talk and do this at the same time, you guys, but <laughs> Um, I know that it's, I know that it's hard for everybody and we, if we could have gotten out there three weeks ago, we would have, but obviously, and then for us, you know, we both have, um, other things with it too. I mean, we've got both of our folks, both sets of our folks are, are, are older and, and whatnot. So regardless of what you think about this, my sister's a medical doctor and stuff too. So I'm getting, you know, good advice from her and it, it's not even, it's beyond that. What it is, is if you, we don't have a place to play, we're not playing. <laughs> so there is good and bad with that. Obviously we're going to be the last ones to be open or to be working, I should say, but there's also not much of a choice. So yeah. it's not like, you know, I mean, it's killing us to not be out there, but we're also like, what are we going to do? So there is, I will say that it's, it's a lot less of a predicament and a dynamic than, um, you know, <laughs> if, if we were like, yeah, well, I mean, so, um, but thank you for checking in on us. Um, we're obviously, uh, we're pretty lucky guys too, because we've got ladies that are the breadwinners, um, in our families that, um, you know, there's a lot of other folks, even musician wise that we know that are, are we're a lot better off um, than they are even. And so we don't take that for granted. So we're doing good. We want to get out there with you um, and we will as soon as we can. Um, I think I mentioned this last week, too. As far as rescheduling things, pretty much anything that's been on the calendar that's already been that's already passed. Um, we just would that those are canceled. So we'll have to just try to figure out what the schedule is going to be. So the next time we come back through, like I know whitefish probably won't be until this fall, which it wouldn't have been anyways. Um, I haven't even been able to reschedule anything because we don't have a tangible timeline for when we can start. So we're, we're approaching this as when we come out of this and can play somewhere, whatever's next on the calendar is what we're going to play. Um, private parties are a little bit easier to kind of readjust and, and account for. So, um, Hang in there with us. I know you're hanging in there, uh, 
for us. So we appreciate it. Um, John, let's yeah, do, uh, I want you to do what happened there, by the way, I know you came back. Was it just, just you reset everything or what? You were just doing this. I lost okay. all audio. Just dead. Let's, let's do, uh, why don't you do, um, dragonfly? Tell them the story about your buddy or our friend, Randy. And send my, my replacement, if I ever piss off dog, dogs leaving me and start a band. Rick, our friend Randy, I don't think that he would mind if we if we told this story or or about his uh, about kind of his history. But our our friend Randy, I met Randy um, through John many years ago, and Randy has been through a lot. Uh, he struggled with his demons for sure, um, and 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 took care of them, um, and. So we've, I've obviously been a lot, I've heard a lot more about him in the last few years and been in touch with him through John. Um, but this is a song that he actually wrote. Um, and John, forgive me for, I forget the premise of kind of how this story came about or how he told you about this song, but go ahead. Yeah, well, uh, Randy, Randy put out a record. Oh man, I can't remember if it was on spin. Um, he, he put out three or four records, uh, this would have been a decade ago, and on one of them was a song called Dragonfly, and I told him, dude, that's one of the most clever songs you've ever written. He goes, I wrote that song in 15 minutes. I woke up, I had a dream that a dragonfly landed on my leg, and I was sitting at Alcova Reservoir. Uh, for anybody who grew up in Casper, we have many, many, many memories from Alcova, and he said, I was drinking a beer in this dream, and a dragonfly landed on my knee and said, well, you're gonna drink that or what? And uh, I woke up and wrote this song, and I was like, dude, it's a great song. Well, uh, the way I do it um, is, you know, a little bit, a little bit simpler. He's a much, much better guitar player. Um, so with this, it's Dragonfly. That's actually true. He is a really good guitar He's player. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. And so I don't say that uh, like I can play the guitar. Randy can play the crap out of the guitar. So. In fact, in fact, let me interrupt you. Did you have you seen his video that he posted, John? Of so this yeah, yeah. So. Some, I don't know if you can see it if you're not his friend, but uh, he, so the Def Leppard song, Hysteria, uh, Randy did a split screen of himself playing the piano intro, and he kind of rearranged it a little bit. Uh, and then he's he's got his Strat over on the other side, and he's playing the solo, but it's really cool. He's a really super talented dude. Um, and you can go check him out on Facebook. I don't know if he's posted it to, oh, I think it is on his YouTube page. If you just go to Randy Craig, exactly how it's spelled. Um, on YouTube, and then, or you can go to our actually go to our YouTube page, go to El Wencho, and I subscribe to him. So you could probably find it through our page too, but it's pretty sweet. Go ahead, but he zapped it to me. One detail about this song that I, I forgot to mention is Dog and I put this on a record. It can wait till the Monday morning. Barely catching the buzz, I'm tripping because there's a dragonfly staring up at me to see. If I tie one on for the swarm, we'll sit in the sun and treat the dark away. So no one's standing till your heavy head lays down. Well, when the groove gonna drink the dark away. When it's over, we'll rest and we'll be another day. We're gonna worry another day. Sleep medications, no medication for the noise in your head instead. Don't waste a bit of your time With the feet of the water And only it's harder for those who refuse to jump in Join in Have a drink of the dragonfly We'll sit in the sun and drink the dark away To no one standing To your heavy head lays down Well, in the groove Gonna drink the dark away when it's over, we'll rest and we'll be another day. Hey, cloudy conditions in 
hinders your vision. It keeps you from enjoying the ride. The dragonflies are one place. You can move at your own pace. Forget the things that make your smile hide. Leave them all behind. Sitting, I'm just sitting, just to the top play with the sand. And a little bit later, I'm gonna persuade her to take all of her plans. So yeah, have a drink of the dragonfly. We'll sit in the sun and drink the dark away. So no one standing to your heavy head lays down. Hey, real quick, guys. Uh, we haven't ever done this for the um, live chat just because um, never thought about it because it's not an actual performance. But uh, a lot of folks were asking last week, too, about tip jar and stuff. So I just put them in the mm -hmm. chat. I don't know if you can see them, but um, every other time for our um, quarantine cocktail hours and stuff, we actually split the, the tips that we get from you guys and, you know, uh, in honor of the place that we're supposed to be at that week. Um, a lot of those folks have decided to pay it forward um, by no, by no obligation you know, by, by no means, or is there any obligation for that anytime, especially now, but it's up there. If you guys want to, uh, you know, throw John some money for his ramen. Um, I'm sure he would appreciate that. But um, do you have anything else, dude? Uh, like I said, we try to keep this to about 45 or an hour. So, Oh, uh, the only other one, the only other one I was going to have you do was was Linda Lou. But if you want to do something else or anything to talk about, uh, I say let's do Linda Lou and Rocket. Okay. Uh, um, go ahead, bud. <laughs> Nicole says it is a performance. Yeah, you can tell uh, how much. <laughs> Actually, I did I'm sweating. Kinda... I'm sweating over here. I kind of dressed up a little bit, meaning I grabbed the hat that was right there and put it on, and I don't remember bringing it down here. But Linda okay, Lou. Yeah, the the there's a song by a guy named Ricky Skaggs, and he sang, "If I lose, let me lose. I don't care how much I lose. If I lose a hundred dollars while I'm trying to win a dime, my baby, she's got money all the time." And uh, I remember thinking, dude, I would love to write a bluegrass song that rocked well of course i can't write a bluegrass song that rocks uh well i guess i wrote abercrombie jeans but then that turned out to be not really bluegrass anyways point to that is um ricky skaggs inspired me to literally sing if i lose became linda lou in my head and then the melody changed so uh, i wrote this song and then the the lyrics changed and it just became this thing of poetry like i i at that point hadn't been writing a lot of poetry in my song so in the wind you can hear the water pounding on the shore where the rocks and the waves play their games. You can listen for a lifetime with the thought of wanting something more, but for them, things will always be the same. You know, and I, I like that kind of stuff, thinking about like right now, there's a coast being pounded by the ocean over and over and over while we're living our little quarantine lives, you know, that just the rocks and the waves play their games for eternity. So um, I liked that imagery. And I also liked that the stability of that imagery and all of the imagery that I spit out, I liked the stability of that emotional stability or at least the idea of that the rock the rocks in the ocean will always be there and this love this emotional love will always be there that was kind of the thought i have no problem admitting that i'm crazy you guys <laughs> all right now so linda lou oh yeah and then the other gimmick is uh it turns out my aunt linda her middle name was louise so after the song was written and recorded 
Uh, and I would just say, here's a love song to Linda Lou. But Linda Lou is just this person, this imaginary person I wrote. So then it was like, oh, I wrote a love song to my aunt. That's creepy. And then Cure Dog is mom, Linda, her middle name's Lou. So I was like, well, that's way more fun to say. I wrote a love song to my business partner's mom. Way more fun. Not as creepy. No, it's creepy. Love you, Linda and Aunt Linda. So that was I probably that was probably the best segue to this song ever, dude. Hey, man, you can't beat the truth, dog. It's a funny stamp bit. All right, Linda Lou. In the wind, you can hear the water pounding on the shore Where the rocks and the waves play their games You could listen for a lifetime with the thought of something more For them, things won't always be the same When my heart begins to wander, my mind begins to go Somewhere far away, maybe better than this place. I think about the smile I always seem to have. You're the reason that it's always on my face. Lindaloo, Lindaloo. I'm in love with my lovely Lindaloo. When you hear them bells are ringing, that's the sound of my heart singing all for you, my Lindaloo. I remember well the time was not so long ago when my world seemed to constant dark and gray. Like a lighthouse in the distance shining out to lead me home. You're the sunshine breaking through to greet the day. Then the loop, in the loop. In love with my lovely little loop. You hear them bells are ringing, that's the sound of my heart singing all for you. My Cindy Lou. Happy birthday, Tana. As the years go passing by, as the seasons come and go, every winter with spring replaced anew. There are moments that we treasure, there are memories we love. I'm grateful just to share them all with you. Then the Hey, we love you guys. Thanks for being in so there much. with us. We'll see you as soon as we can. Take care of each other. Cheers.